have. This is a random 30. Uh, we are playing Mad Max on the PS4. We're trying to play I'm Mad Max to. on the PS4. It's been a while and I don't remember half the controls, so I'm going to be feeling horribly at this. Um, yeah, so Tristan, you've played this game too. Yeah, and one awesome thing about this game that I enjoy so much is the wasteland detail that they put into it, where Shit. it's post-apocalyptic apocalyptic, and uh, obviously it, I think it looks a little better than other games out there that's trying to do the same thing. Yeah, it really, it, it's got great graphics. Very great graphics, and I love this aspect of it, uh -huh. where you can at any time pause the game and zoom the camera around, so if you want to take like super <laughs> awesome shots of you killing people shoving a like, knife through a guy's like face you totally can that is pretty awesome but uh yeah no it's a really fun game i enjoy it a lot i think it adds a lot to the mad max universe without um you know paralleling the movie which would have been really lame i think if it had been a movie those really are always the worst very and then you got so. chum working on the car he's your favorite you've always <laughs> liked chum chum is pretty great <laughs> he's a creepy looking little motherfucker he comes in handy when you need him yeah, he fires the harpoons and stuff for you when you're driving around. You might want to get in the back there. <laughs> I was trying to go to a location. What a was I trying? A scavenge location. A scavenge right? location, yeah. I, uh, so the world here looks pretty decently sized, right? It's a really big map, yeah. It's, I guess, maybe rivals Fallout 4 with the, the hugeness of it. Maybe mm -hmm. not quite as many things to do. Right. Or maybe many things to do. Everything's already kind of predetermined. Yeah, in some ways. they're not as randomized and they're not right. maybe quite as inventive because a lot of stuff I know in other games might have a bit more strength. How do I even fight? <laughs> I am so bad at this! I don't even remember! No, I'm, I'm curious to see if maybe this will um, somehow tie into the next films that are going to be happening. Perhaps. That would be pretty great. I don't know if if that's the case, but that'd be kind of cool. And I know Ooh. George Miller still had a touch to do with the game. He's involved with everything Mad Max. He works on the comics. He obviously works on the movies. And uh, yeah, he stays busy and loves the, the franchise of Mad Max. Which is really cool that he's still super involved mm -hmm. with his own franchise and didn't just kind of get Especially how old up. he is nowadays. He's, he's getting up man. there in age. Okay, I found this scrap thing I was trying to go to. I just need to get my car. I can't even remember <laughs> this stuff. So there's scrap hidden inside that container. How do I jump? Can I jump? No! That was a gun. That will blow your car up. <laughs> Damn it! I don't even know! This is so embarrassing! Anybody watching at home, this game is actually pretty fun if you remember the controls. It's been a while. Not because it's a bad game, just so many other things came out and I wanted to play other stuff. But uh, yeah, it's it's um, pretty good. There's lots of different like vantage points you can find. Yeah, what's in there? Whoa, Treasure. Yeah. Scrap. So scrap is what you use to like, like Alter it's like card. money. Yeah, you buy Enhance things. Enhance your car and whatnot. What? That's a good loot pile. That is huge. What else is that? I think that is that an ornament for my car. Shut up. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, you can deck it. Huh. Oh, it's a bear That's skull. That's something you might want to install right away. That's cool. I'm gonna <laughs> install it right away. You guys can take a look at that. Let me just turn the lights off. I can't even see it. There. Well, it's that little tiny... Yeah, I thought it was going to be there? bigger. Why is it so little? It's like a little cub. <laughs> it's a little baby bear. Oh, that's really sad. Um, Yeah, this game, though, there's so much to do. Like, you get kind of lost in it. Um, It's sort of like the Assassin's Creed games in that respect, where there's a lot going on, and you can take the time to complete everything, but then it sort of muddies the story. Um, and being in a car, it's kind of a game changer for a game like this. Yeah. If you were walking... It oh would my God. probably not be a whole lot of fun, but obviously Mad Max is everything to do with cars and vehicles and altering your vehicle. And, and it's pretty cool because even even with having a vehicle and quick, you know, driving around everywhere, they also have fast travel, which is pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to like do all this tedious driving, you can just fast travel everywhere. I want to uh, finish the story, to be honest. It's and cool. there's like random sandstorms that come into play, right? Yeah, the sandstorms are cool. I'm kind of hoping that maybe we'll get that one. That would be pretty great if some one pops up. <laughs> I can't aim. I just want to take it down. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Weak scarecrow. Whatever. I'm just. This is so bad. It's actually a very fun game. I apologize for my poor <laughs> gameplay. I'm just. Don't remember a lot of it. As I'm playing, I'm remembering stuff, but. This is embarrassing. So embarrassing. Might as well just start over entirely with the game. Yeah, screw it. 
Fuck it. Um, I kind of wanted to uh, show off a base, which is sort of sweet that you get these base of operations in each of these areas. I mean, like, this is a pretty huge map. Like, there's a lot of stuff Whoa, going cow. on. It's like like Grand Theft Auto size, I guess. Yeah. Or, But, um, how do I, fast travel. There you go. Thank you, Need. Jeets, stronghold. Is it traveling? Uh, it says it is. Fast, fast travel. travel. Yes. Wow, there we go, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's embarrassing. But, um, yeah, I know it's so huge, and I haven't finished the story. I think maybe about halfway through. What I have played story-wise, I really enjoy so far. Um, it's pretty creative, and they got a lot going down. But these are the strongholds you get, or you find um, in each area. You have to do things for the stronghold, and it kind of, like, builds it up, and there's different stronghold levels, and you find different items out in the world. There's no different. altering your stronghold, is there? As well, far as the landscape of it? No, not in that regards, no. But, like, you find different, like, things out in the world that will help you in the game. Like, you can find scrap piles and stuff, and then they'll... Or, like, let's see if I can find something. There's a, like, ammo dumps. There's a lot of people in there. Or you can... Yeah, I know. It used to be, like, nobody, and then the more stuff you find, like, you can add to the world. Like, mm -hmm. project info. Like, this right here. Where is it? Somewhere over here. There's a project around here that I was working on. Ugh. Some place <laughs> where anyways, like you get um, extra food or your meds get restocked every time you come into the base or your car gets full ammo or like that kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. look at that little guy. He's got a little knob. Armory right here. So Max's ammo belt is automatically filled when you enter the stronghold. Nice. Now that doesn't come automatically. You have to go out in the world and find that little stuff. It's kind of fun because... I mean, it's not things that are required to do by any means, but, you know, why not OP your character? I don't know, but I think I'm He's stuck. He's brandishing his weapon there. I don't know how to jump. Oh, this is so bad. Can I fast travel out of here to a different location? <laughs> Maybe I'll just have to do that. Here, I'll go out to Pink, Pink Eye. Eyes for... There we go. That works. Fast travel is a good friend. <laughs> Do you yeah. think you'd uh, want a sequel to this game? Well, I haven't finished the story, so I don't really know. I would probably pay, play another Mad Max game, though. I mean, this one was a ton of fun. Yeah. I kind of think it'd be sweet if they maybe tried it like more um, RPG style instead of so open world. I mean, this is right. sort of like a loose RPG, but um, maybe a bit more story driven, so I don't yeah. have quite as many options to uh, run around and get lost in. Because I'm really bad with that. Ooh, selecting vehicles too. You can um, earn vehicles in races. Like some of these unlocks. If you do races and challenges, you earn um, archangels. Or I think those maybe you build them. Either way, they're the, the more powerful vehicles. And then you get other ones that you can just find out on the world. Like maybe raiders are driving it. And then you can like, oh, I like this one. I think it's cool. I'm gonna so these are the ones it. you unlock you have to, or do you collect them? Uh, I think they're a little bit of both. Hmm. Some of them you can collect and some of them you can unlock. Like this is Chum's nice. Buggy. And in Chum's Buggy, for instance, if there's landmines out on the map, this is the only one that you can um, find the landmines on because the dog comes with you, your little dog friend. Yeah. So there's kind of different perks with some of the vehicles. Some of them go really fast. Some of them are horribly slow. Um, and some of them you can sneak into enemy bases real easy. Speaking of enemy bases, I see that one way ahead. I'm going to drive over there. It's very eye-catching. Might as well yeah. get to it. <laughs> Fire! But there's just a lot of different things, and I, I, I think just that alone makes this game worth playing. And it's Mad Max, and I'm just such a big fan of that world and that universe. I would definitely play another game. And, I mean, if they, if they made another game, it was just like this one, I may pass on it. Um, just because it's kind of like been there, done that. Yeah. But... I don't know. Sort something of, to improve on, though. I'm sure they can find, figure something out. Yeah, for sure. And if they, if this does somehow tie into the movie world, I think I would then be more intrigued, like more invested in a new one. Hey. Yeah. Oh. That doesn't do anything. Camp alerted. Oh shit! That is a huge camp. So camps. <laughs> these are these giant, awesome monstrosities that you can break into. There's different ways you can just go. You can do it kind of stealthy if you. Yeah. Need. Oh no! Keep going. I was excited. I was listening <laughs> to you. I was like, yeah. If you, uh, you can take down their front defenses, I believe, and then they won't be totally alerted and be somewhat surprised when you attack them. 
Or you can do what I just did and like super like, hey everybody, I'm here and make it a really annoying, obnoxious challenge. Um, also too, I noticed that there was different ways that you can sneak into the bases. Like sometimes there's guys um, on the map, like I think mm -hmm. that there's a purple dot, oops, wrong button. No, maybe not. But there'll be like a, a person out on the world map and he's been scouting it out and you talk to him and he's like, oh hey, if you go in through the left hand side, there's a secret entrance into the base. Um, or sometimes you just find him yourself. Again, there's always the front gate too. You can just plow through. Mm. It's not really recommended. It's actually kind of tough though. That would probably be the most difficult way of taking out a base, yeah. <laughs> but if you're bored and you're like OP, I guess it's totally worth it. Dude, I don't think I've ever been out here. This looks cool. With like the salt water, whatever. Yeah. Look at that in the distance. That's so sweet. Oh. Not in the tunnel. Oh, okay. Why is it not in tunnel? Probably to the north. I think there's someone behind you. No, get away. I'm in a buggy. I can't really fight in this thing. <laughs> Shit. I'll chum the fire at him. I don't have chum. I have the dog. Uh, some dog fire at him. <laughs> the dog should jump out and bite him in the teeth. Bite him in the teeth? Bite him with his teeth. Good lord. But yeah, I don't know. I would definitely recommend this game. It's fun to dick around in. Um, especially if you enjoy the Mad Max world. It handles really well. It's beautiful. It's a very pretty game. Um, the story that I've played is actually pretty good. There's a lot to do. A little bit too much sometimes, I think. Yeah, but and for me, I was I enjoyed the movie so much that I tried this game out. And I was like, oh, wow. Really nice, fun game. It's not... Nothing new really with the movie, but it's got the same world dynamics and everything that they kind of introduce with the movie. Or, not introduce, but they Continue. go a little further on, yeah. Ooh, I see lights out here. Plus, it's just fun to explore. I don't yeah. know. Like, I'm finding new things as we play. I've never been out in this area. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I definitely give Mad Max a go if you're at all intrigued. It's worth playing. Um, and I'm sure you can probably find some used copies by now. Whoa, this is a base! What did I do? Look at all the snipers! <laughs> Hell no, I'm out of there. I don't want to alert all the bases, so when I actually come back and play this, everybody's going to be on high alert, which is kind of cool because they remember that you tried to break in. So if you go uh, back, they're still on alert. Yeah. Beefs up maybe a little more. Yeah, definitely. And like all of their uh, um, snipers are more aware and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd say give this game a go if you're at all intrigued. It's worth it. Um, people I've recommended it to were pretty happy so far. Uh, yeah, and, and for t the year of 2015, maybe one of the better games that were yeah. at least kind of under the radar in some ways. I agree with that, 100%. But, uh, yeah, so this is Amy and Tristan signing off on this... <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> um, this random 30, and uh, you guys should give Mad Max a go. She got those clouds. I know they're so pretty. <laughs>